Howdy folks, TJ here. I have a really cool application to show you today. I just downloaded it and gave it a quick test. It works pretty cool and it allows the next to be a little separated from having to use a different computer to download games and stick them on an SD card and then slap them into your next. It makes us a, a little bit more independent, I guess, for lack of a better word. I think we'll always still rely on some computer, Mac, Linux, Windows, or whatever, if we ever need to remake an SD card and kind of rebuild things from scratch. But once you get going, the next is becoming a little bit more independent, which is kind of cool. So David Safier, I think about a week ago or so, posted a new application, and it is called Nex ZXDB, and then there's a uh, minus sign DL Search. I don't know if that's the full official name. I think I'm just going to call it Nex ZXDB Download, and maybe the DL stands for Downloader. And uh, let me read off the README file that came with it, and then we'll give it a quick test so you can kind of see what it's about. And let me just quickly, I want to, uh, we'll, we'll set that up in a second. So, in his text read me, and I'll put the link down below where you can download it, and do make note that this software is beta. And he clearly points that out, saying, hey, you know, just so you know, it's beta, so things can happen. So beware of that. He also has some thanks. So at the very beginning, he says, massive thanks to Remy Sharp, which I've used some of Remy's uh, game information. He's got some great websites for converting a next image to a different image and basic all sorts of basic things that can help you program and it's all online where you can use it and add different sound effects all sorts of stuff so he's really popular amongst the the basic crew there making some great online applications that will help you create next programs so he thanks remy sharp and he also and i'm probably going to butcher the name but d Zeller Rimron Souter, and he's pretty uh, big in the Next community. He obviously does a lot of behind the scenes and in the scenes, whatever you want to call it, creating basically the Next, a lot of the operating system. I've seen his name plastered all over the place, so he's a very key individual and continues to do wonderful things for helping us enjoy our Next. So he's also thanked in this for his awesome back-end support, scripting and hosting with Next Best Network and has a website URL in that. Read the readme file when you download your own copy of this. And then it talks about what the program is. So it says, note, this is early beta. So it may crash. It might fail to download, etc., etc. Best results have been with a fast SD card, class 10. So if your your SD card that you've got your next on is not a class 10, beware. You may experience some problems regardless. Uh, as time goes on, things will improve, obviously. So beta. And then it talks about the two folders. So there's a program, two things that I've downloaded. You have to put both in your main directory. So zxdb-dl and then a dot command. I put the dot command inside my own existing dot folder. The installer said put, just copy the dot folder over, but I just grabbed the file and put it in my existing dot uh, folder. Seems to be working fine. And then it says connect your Wi-Fi, which I've already done. So you do need to set your next up to be on your Wi-Fi. If, if you don't have the uh, Wi-Fi card inside and you don't have things set up, this won't work. So before you do it, you need to set your Wi-Fi up for the first time. And then once you set it up, it's ready to rock and roll. So let's see what else does they say. Connect to your Wi-Fi. And using the browser, you're going to go into your ZXDB folder and launch a ZXDBloader.bas application. And then it talks about typing in your search commands. So let's go ahead and launch it so you can kind of see what it looks like. And I'm going to... Uh, Let's see, I don't need to go in here. I want my Wi-Fi to continue running, so. Browser, go in here, and I need to back out of it. So, in my main directory, main, I should say, root level, I've got this directory, ZXDB DL, go in there, and I'm going to launch the program here. So let's go ahead and launch it. 
Now he says if you are connected to your Wi-Fi and all is good, this search will pop up down here. I think you'll notice when I first turned it on, it did not come up. So the search has come in. Now what I have found is I started typing in some keywords and it seems to be not finicky, but I don't know what database necessarily this is accessing. Um, I'm guessing maybe it's the next best network. I don't know. I have to uh, understand that a little bit better, but I think I'm guessing the next nextbestnetwork.com slash WOS. WOS must maybe stands for World of Spectrum. Maybe it's accessing the database from there. So it talks about what you're going to type in for search. And you do need, your, need to use your asterisk uh, to extend because if you don't have the exact name, you want it to pick up anything with that particular name. So let's go ahead and give it an example. I'm going to just type in asteroid. Asteroid. Searching. Oh, finding a whole bunch. Cool. So Asteroids Ahead. It's finding all these. And you can arrow through to select what you want. I've never played any of these games. Let's go ahead and try... I'm going to go ahead and turn on the sound, even if it crackles and pops a little bit. Asteroids uh, Unknown.tap. Let's go ahead and try that one. So I've selected it. You can either enter to download, S to search, or F to view. I'm going to go ahead and hit enter. The screen blinks around a little bit and it gives you kind of like that cassette uh, when you're loading up a cassette for the first time, a little fluctuation. And now it popped up. It downloaded that P to play. I guess it's ready to go and rock and roll. So let's go ahead and make sure the sound's up. Probably too loud now. P. Let's see what happens. Uh, is it a 48K game? I'm guessing. Let's go ahead and hit four. Asteroids. Oh boy, <laughs> this is like Russian or something. Just pilotem Vizranov Kobajuv. I don't know how to say all that stuff. I have no idea what it's doing. Oh, oh crap. Is there sound in this game? OP. I don't know what I'm doing. Joystick. Obviously, it's playing the game right now. That's too funny. I should have the sound turned on. So, uh, maybe that's not the best game. Uh, that probably, maybe this is French. Yes, Zedov. I don't know. No. No? Okay. We're going to just go ahead and do a reset. Browser. Actually, I... Uh, let's... So I downloaded it. It worked. Let, let's try to download something else. Let's try a different Asteroid. So let's load the program again. Search will pop up down here when it makes the connection. Search. Asteroid. And I'm not going to put a asterisk. Oh, no, nothing. So I guess I need to... Asteroid, uh, asterisk, asteroid, asterisk. No results. It, did I spell it different last time? So, again, it's beta software, so I, I'm pretty sure I'm spelling it the same way, aren't I? A-S-T-E-R-O-I-D. I think the first time I did this, I just typed in asteroid. And it did work the first time. See, now it's popping up. So did I, yeah, I spelled it the same way, so it just... For whatever reason, didn't find it, but now it did. So, could be my crappy internet. I, I'll blame my internet before something else, but it is beta software. So, let's try something different. So, let's try Asteroids Ahead this time. Uh, although, maybe I should... Uh, hmm, asteroid Belt, I already... Asteroids in Space. Uh, let's go ahead and try Asteroids Ahead. So, enter. I have no idea about these games, so P for play. I'm going to do one this time for 128. Steer your spacecraft through the swarm of asteroids. Press 5 for left or 8 for right. 5 and 8. Press 0 to activate your craft's energy screen to destroy asteroids you can avoid. But beware, the screen has only 5 energy... Uh, Press 8 to start. I don't know what I'm doing. Oh! 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 Oh, what's the zero do? Oh, that was that. that uh, so I am... Oh, crap! Oh! 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 <laughs> uh, oh! So, you see it's right in the word Spectrum on there? This must be a 48K game. You, uh... It, sometimes, if you don't have the game uh, properly created for a 128K specky, you'll get that word Spectrum on there. I've had that happen on my own game. 
So let's try it this time with uh, just going into Specky 48K mode. Not like it's going to be any different, but uh, 5 and 8. <laughs> mm, oh, yeah, the spaceship looks better now. Oh, uh, uh, zero. Uh, so as you, oh, three lives left. Oh, I'm going to crash. Two lives left. Crash. Boom. I guess there's no sound effects in this game. My sound is working. So anyway, let's download one more. Let's try something different than Asteroid this time. So you can see the program is working. Very cool. So let's um, go back to here and let's try a different keyword. I, I don't know. Uh, something with H? Uh, howl? I don't know. Um, what's a bat? How about battle? B-A-T-T-L-E. Something's got to be with a battle, right? Battle asterisk. Oh, okay, cool. So, Battle 1917, Battle Command. Oh, some of these games are bigger. Uh, let's go. Oh, that's 167. My slow internet might take forever to download that. Battle of Midway, Battle of Britain. There we go. That looks appropriate. Battle of Britain. Okay, uh, download. No idea about this game. Down, uh, it's ready to, to play. P. Uh, four. I'm guessing it's a 48K. Oh boy, Battle of Britain, Micro Game Simulations, Cambridge, England. Man, these are very basic games. And I don't know if it's not working. Oh, do you want sound? Oh crap. Yeah, I wanted sound. Oh, I screwed up. Do you want instructions? Yes. Peace, grow, and prompted. So, I don't think we need to go through all this stuff. You can see it's working. So you basically launch the program and search for stuff. So just load up the program. Search will pop up once it's made that connection to your Wi-Fi. And then type in a keyword. Uh, how about the word uh, troll? I don't know if there's anything with troll in it. Asterisk, troll. Ah, I found two troll adventures or troll tunnels. Maybe I'll play the game Troll Trundles off camera. So awesome, David Safier and everybody else uh, that was involved in making this program. It's making our next a little bit more independent to do things on its own. I don't need to unplug my SD card and slap it in another computer. This is really cool. So thanks for making this for us. And I'll continue using it moving forward and download the newer versions as they come out. So thanks a lot. Have a great day and hopefully you all enjoyed this little video. Peace. See ya.